بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اکرا حفیظ اینڈ یو واچنگ دیسی ٹی وی یو ایس لیٹس ایو لوک ایٹ دا نیوز یو ایس سیکرٹری آف اسٹیٹ اینٹن بلنک میٹس وتھ اسرائیلس نیو پرائم منسٹر ایز اسرائیل سیز دا ورسٹ وائلنس ان ایئرس Speaking earlier in the day, Blinken reaffirmed a long-stalled peace vision as the only path forward. Netanyahu's new hardline government includes partner who oppose Palestinian statehood. To the Prime Minister, my condolences and that of the United States government for the seven Israelis uh, who were killed in the horrific terrorist attack uh, earlier this week outside their synagogue. Uh, President Biden called the Prime Minister immediately after the attack to underscore the United States steadfast support for Israel and its people, a message that I reaffirmed in the meeting we just had. In the context of this attack and escalating violence, it's important that the government and people of Israel know America's commitment to their security remains ironclad. That commitment is backed up by nearly 75 years of United States support. Uh, America's commitment has never wavered. It never will. And today, the Prime Minister and I discussed ways that we can continue to strengthen our partnership and our shared security interests. We agree that Iran must never be allowed to acquire a nuclear weapon. And Prime Minister Shehbaz Shreve was briefed by Corps Commander Peshawar regarding the factors and motivations of terrorism. The Inspector General of Police Khabar Pakhtunkhwa submitted a preliminary investigation report on the suicide attack in police line. Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari held constructive talks with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. The two sides agreed to pursue initiatives to deepen Pakistan. Russia cooperation in various realms including education, economy, energy and connectivity. Regional issues including situation in Afghanistan and cooperation in SCO were also discussed. Foreign Minister Mr. Blawal Bhutto Zardari joined press conference with his Russian counterpart Mr. Sergei Lavrov. Thank you. Excellency Foreign Minister Lavrov, distinguished members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank His Excellency Mr. Lavrov for the warm welcome. I am pleased to observe that my visit is taking place in the, in the year which marks the 75th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Pakistan and Russia. Today we had a friendly, detailed and productive discussion on all aspects of our bilateral relations as well as regional and global issues. Strengthening relations with the Russian Federation remains an important priority for Pakistan. We believe that Pakistan-Russia relations not only serve our respective national interests, but also contribute to regional and global stability and security. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Israeli Foreign Minister Ili Khan are delivering statements in journalism. I want to thank you, Secretary of State, for the good news that the citizen of Israel received today regarding to the visa waiver. I also would like to thank President Joe Biden. We dove right into a conversation on a wide range of regional uh, and global issues. And it's uh, simply a powerful reflection of our mutual interests, uh, our decades long security partnership, uh, which transcends any one administration uh, in either uh, Israel or the United States. Uh, the closeness of that relationship, grounded in a long history of shared democratic values, gives us a foundation for addressing a range of challenges uh, which I look forward to pursuing uh, today. Um, we covered a lot of ground as well in the meeting with the Prime Minister. Funeral prayers of 27 marches of the suicide blast were performed during the Zohar prayer in the mosque of police lines. Corps Commander Peshawar, IG Police, Commandant FC participated in the funeral prayer of the martyrs. <laughs>
Saudi Arabia strongly condemned the Peshawar mosque blast. The Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, while condemning actions such as targeting place of worship, threatening peaceful people and shedding innocent blood, emphasized that all forms of violence, extremism and terrorism, regardless of its motives and motivations, are unacceptable. Also against them, Saudi Arabia is standing with the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Statement issued by the Saudi Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that the ministry expresses its condolence and sympathy to the families of the victims and the government and people of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and prays for the speedy recovery of the injured. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.